Director, I have the honor of requesting that you confer an honorary fellowship upon Professor Farouk Topan. By virtue of the authority invested in me, I award the honorary fellowship of SOAS University of London on Professor Farouk Topal. Congratulations. Professor Farouk Tupan will now address us. Chairman, board Steens, Director Adam Habib, Professor Adam Habib, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, dear graduates, good morning. I'm deeply grateful to SOAS for the award of honorary fellowship which I accept with utmost humility. It's all the more special as it is from my own alma mater. And on this special occasion, may I also acknowledge and convey congratulations to my fellow recipients of honorary awards in these winter graduations, Akiaba, Daisebo, Misan, Hariman, and Sanda, Odiambo, and I thank SOAS for acknowledging the contributions of uh, people in the African diaspora. Thank you. Okay. Congratulations to all graduates on your achievement, and it goes without saying that your success has involved hard work and very good and perhaps at times difficult management of time and resources during these years, both inside and outside of uh, SOAS. I joined SOAS as a student in 1962, just over 60 years ago, when I climbed those famous steps. And although the internal and even external geography of SOAS has undergone some changes since then, a constant has been its increasing engagement with diversity. That engagement I have seen from the outside, I've seen it from the inside, has developed over the years, and somehow SOAS inculcates this ethos of diversity in its student body in various ways, sometimes even imperceptibly. If I may give a minor, but perhaps a telling example from the Swahili Abroad Program, which we introduced in 1995, that is over two decades ago. Two students, let's call them Miriam and Kate, were the pioneers of the program. They had gone to the University of Dar es Salaam, and as they were the pioneers, we do not have any, of course, any precedent, and therefore we were slightly, or perhaps even more than slightly, anxious on how the year would unfold uh, for them. But I shouldn't have worried because they took the change of environment and culture in their stride. They knew that Dar es Salaam is Dar es Salaam. It is an African city, a city with its own personality, its own way of life, its own culture, its own language, which they were there to learn. They totally understood that they were not there to impose their values on others. That, to me, was pluralism in action, the acceptance and respect of difference is normal. And when I was thinking about this example, what went through my mind was a thought, 
Some might say it is an anachronistic thought, but perhaps some might say it is not because human values have always been with us. And it is one of those if onlys of history. If only, if only the navigators, explorers, and the discoverers of the 15th century, the ones in 1492 who went west, and the ones in 1498 who went east around the Cape of Good Hope, and those who came in their wake, if only they had the attitude and understanding of Miriam and Kate towards the people they had encountered. If only, then our world would probably be rather different today. And so finally, my fellow alumni, because you're on the verge of becoming alumni, the period, this period of one and a half years or two years of the pandemic has not been easy for many, many of us. But we have come through, and this is now the time to build on what we have achieved, indeed what you have achieved, and not just academically, but in many walks of human life, a time to move forward with confidence, self-confidence, with understanding, with self-assurance, and the feeling that you are not alone. Just look around you, look on the stage, look at us. So good luck, and wherever your own will and destiny takes you, we wish you well, we wish you good luck with best wishes. And in Swahili, we say kwaherini. Kwaherini, it's goodbye, but goodbye with our blessings, with our thoughts, with our prayers. And uh, may I have a little request that wherever you may end up in the world, here, abroad, elsewhere, please take a little piece of soas and keep it in your hearts. It would be very comforting. I've done that, and it hasn't done me any harm. <laughs> okay. So good luck. And in Swahili, we say asante nisana. Thank you very much for your presence and for your contributions. Thank you. Thank you.